Hi guys and dolls, Divine Diva K here, and I am here to share with you a video um, talking about one of the major side effects of chemotherapy. And um, I don't know if this is going to be before my AC side effects or after, but um, I wanted to talk about the elephant in the room, which is hair loss. Um, when I was first diagnosed with breast cancer, um, the doctor told me that chemotherapy obviously was part of the treatment and that I would lose my hair. And I'm someone who, who, um, who has worn wigs and so one would think that, oh, okay, no biggie, you know, you just wear wigs and um, it shouldn't be such a, a big of, of a deal to your life or your hair. And I never really thought about the real ramifications of losing my hair, but it is, it, it is such a big, it is such a big deal. It is such a big deal. So I just want to um, just tell, document my personal feeling about my hair loss because I mean, it, it, it happened. Um, it happened at about 14 days after the first treatment. Mm, yes, it, I had the second treatment and the next day, within one day, I didn't shave my hair, I didn't do any of that. Um, I just, I have spent, I've been natural for nine years, so I have spent thousands of dollars and thousands of hours on my hair. And I have lots and lots of hair products. So I just could not bring myself to shave my head. So the day after my second treatment, I was sitting in, a, in my chair and I just like kind of ran my hand through my head and just gobs of hair came out. And I'm going to enter a picture of the hair that came out here. And I, the hair just came out. And within, I would say, half a day, my hair was gone. All of it. So it wasn't like over days and days and days and days and days. It just came out all in, at one time. Which I guess was the positive because at the end of that day, I, I was bald. Or relatively bald. I mean, just little hairs that, that, that uh, decide that they want to hang on or stay, hang in there. But... It's like a hair there, a hair there. Um, I think the hardest thing for me was the fact that when I saw myself in the mirror, I realized that I was sick. When I had my hair, I didn't, I mean, it was still me. I wasn't sick. I was just, you know, you know, all this was just whirling around. But now that my hair is gone, whenever I see myself, I see myself as, yes, I am someone who is going through something, which I guess is a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. I still haven't decided, but it just lets me know that I'm going through a fight when I see myself. I am probably doo -doo -doo -doo, maybe halfway through my treatment, so there's still quite a few months of me not having hair. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to feel over time, but there may be some videos where you'll actually see me without my, without a hat or um, a turban or some sort of head covering. I, around the house, I am sans hat or uh, head covering, cap, whatever. Whenever I go out, I'm always wearing a head covering, a head cap. So. That is what I'm dealing with in terms of the hair loss. I, on the other side of this, I know my hair will grow back. So I know eventually that will happen. But I just, I never, I never realized how hard it was going to be not, not having my hair. Not having my hair. And, you know, most of my, my friends and, and the like say, oh, yeah, well, you, you know, you wear wigs, you wear, you know, 
you never look the same way twice. You always look different. That's true, but that's my choice. Now it's not my choice. The choice has been taken away from me. I now have to wear a cap or a hat or whatever. I'm my uh, scalp is very very light compared to my my skin, so I don't feel comfortable just walking out being bald. The other side is that I'm not like skin bald. I have hair. There are hairs here and there. Um, so. And then the gray hairs are the ones that are like, whoosh, we are free to grow, um, but not enough to cover any area of my head. So it's still quite a lot of scalp, and the scalp is a lot lighter than the rest of my skin. So for me, it's, it's, um, it's the two-toneness that I can't, I can't take, and I, I'm, I'm not walking around looking like that. That's just me personally. And so I just wanted to get this into tape. Um, if you've been with me from the beginning, I thank you for um, your support, especially through this cancer journey. If you um, have some ideas as to what you can do in terms of um, the two-toneness, if you're a person of color and you have been through this or you know, I can't, I can't tan my head because I don't want to burn my head, so I can't do that. And I, and I don't want to put makeup on my head. So, um, if you have any ideas of what we could, what I could do, then definitely make a comment below. I will see you in my next video.